Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at, and I'm going to show you how to get in place, the Rampage 4-layer crew cab truck cover. This is going to protect the cab of your truck from any of the sun rays, the water, dirt, debris that might get on it when you're not using it for a long period of time. The inside of this cover is going to have a nice soft material, so you're not going to have to worry about it scratching the paint on your vehicle. I would recommend washing your vehicle before you put this on because if you put it on with any dirt or dust or debris on the vehicle that grime might scratch your paint. The material is going to be a four layer non-woven polypropylene fabric that covers your vehicle to shield it from any of those elements or dust, dirt, and debris. Now one thing I like about this cover is that it's not only going to protect my paint on the outside of my vehicle but it's going to protect the inside of your vehicle such as your dash, your cloth, your leather on the inside from the sun or any of those hot rays in the summer so that it doesn't get any damage. The design of the fabric is going to be breathable and water repellent, which means when it rains, it's not going to trap moisture inside. It's going to let it breathe to dry naturally so that you don't have any mold or mildew buildup on your vehicle. It's gonna have these included pockets that you can slide over your mirrors to protect your mirrors also, but if you have towing mirrors, I do recommend folding those in before you put the cover on. It does include this nice cable and lock so that you can run it through this eyelet and run it underneath your truck into another eyelet on the other side. And this is gonna prevent people from removing your cover from your vehicle. As you notice here, we don't have a tall antenna on our vehicle, but if you do have one of those taller antennas, you, all you have to do is cut a slit in your cover here and they include this snap-in grommet kit you just put the two pieces together and snap them into place to form a nice grommet to slide over top of your antenna. You might be wondering why doesn't the cover extend the full length of the vehicle? Well, this is mainly to protect the cab of the vehicle for maybe any hail or storm damage that might occur to your vehicle when you're not using it. The sides of our truck are gonna be protected from those things, but if you do have a tonneau cover like we do on this vehicle, you can purchase a full truck custom cover to go on the whole vehicle. If we just put one on the back here without a cover on the bed, it's going to collect water and not do us any good. So all around our cover, our stitching is going to be double stitch, so you're not going to have to worry about it breaking or pulling apart when installed on your vehicle during those high winds. So on the front and the rear of the vehicle, it's going to have a curved pattern so that you can stretch it around the curves of your vehicle. So that has a nice tight hold. You don't have to worry about it coming off. It also comes with a storage bag so you can keep your cover all nice and neat stored inside of it and you can put it in your garage or in the back seat of your truck. Now that we've gone over some of those features, let's go ahead and show you how to get it installed. Now the key to getting this in place is to not let it hit the ground because you don't want to get any rocks or dirt on the inside of your cover. So we're just gonna unfold it here on our truck bed. You can do it in the floor of your garage if it's clean inside. Just get it stretched out, so then you can get it in place. So you will have this tag on the inside that says where the front is supposed to go. So here we have it at the back of our cab. And we're gonna drag it up and over to get it in place. So the easiest way I found to get it into place is to stand in the back door of your truck if you're using it on a crew cab and just pull it up the length of your vehicle making sure you have the correct side push it up onto your windshield and pull it down onto your hood make sure you got the right length now you can start adjusting the sides it's gonna take some time to get it in place. Just be patient with it. It's actually really quite simple. Pull it over. This curved part here on the stitching should be at the back of your cab when you're putting it into place. It does have these included pockets for your mirrors. You can either fold your mirrors in or you can choose to use the pockets, whichever you like. And just continue to readjust till you've got it all the way around. 
Another way to know for sure if you have the cover centered or not is this center stitch line has to go up your hood and your windshield and it's in the center of your vehicle. Now that we got our cover all in place, we can go ahead and secure it with our included cable. Take the smaller end of the cable, run it up through this grommet that you have already on your cover, run it through this loop, cinch it up tight, and we'll go ahead and throw this other end underneath the vehicle. Now on the other side, you can do the same thing. Run it through the loop. And what you're gonna to wanna to do, take your included lock, run it through there, and run that cable through it so the cable can't go back through the hole. This is gonna lock your cover to your vehicle so somebody just can't come up and remove it. Now with your cover all locked up, your vehicle is gonna be safe from any weather, dirt, debris that might get on it when you're not using it.